Je ne suis pas responsable, dit le capot. Je ne suis pas responsable, dit l'officier. Je ne suis pas responsable. Alors, qui est responsable Why did you not unlock the doors? I've asked all of you, and I'm getting no answer. Two of the victims are in this court. They deserve an answer. This is the SS report you all have copies. This is the report, which was written, approved, and signed by all of you immediately after the event. In the written report, You all claim you didn't even know about the fire until after it happened. But that isn't true, is it? Well, it's not true. I don't know what you're asking. The first thing I'm asking is, why didn't you unlock the doors? Obviously. For the obvious reason. We couldn't. Why couldn't you? We were guards. Our job was to guard the prisoners. We couldn't just let them escape. I see. And if they escape, then you'd be blamed. You'd be charged. No. You might even be executed. No. Well, then. If we'd opened the doors, there would have been chaos. How could we have restored order? It happened so fast. It was snowing, the bombs, the flames. The There were flames all over the village, then the screaming began and got worse and worse. And if they'd all come rushing out, we couldn't just let them escape. We couldn't. We were responsible for them. So you did know what was happening. You did know. You made a choice. You... Ladies and gentlemen, by way of introduction, this is a film about trickery. Robert, about lies. Tell it by the fireside or in a marketplace or in a movie. Almost any story is almost certainly some kind of lie. But not this time. No, this is a promise. During the next hour, everything you hear from us is really true and based on solid facts. <laughs>